Hi, today I'm going to show you a recent purchase my friend obtained. It's a Bond Arms Bullpup 9. You might have heard about this little gun. If you haven't, it's kind of interesting. The manufacturer suggested retail price is $1,099. If you're lucky, you can pick up a new one for $900. Although most prices I've seen are between $950 to $1,000. The pistol comes with two 7-round magazines. My friend got his for $917 plus tax. What really makes this gun special is the length of the barrel for its size. As an example, this car CM9, which is the exact same size as the car PM9, is considered to be a good single-stack, small-compact 9mm pistol. It has a barrel length of 3 inches and an overall length of 5.3 inches. Now the Bullpup 9 has a barrel length of 3.35 inches and an overall length of 5.1 inches. So the Bullpup 9 is actually shorter in overall length but it has a longer barrel. So why is this you may ask? It's because of the unique design of the Bullpup 9. First, a little history is in order. In 2015, the Boberg Arms Corporation was acquired by Bond Arms. Boberg Arms produced a pistol design created by Arnie Boberg, which he called the Boberg XR9, also referred to as the Jamomatic by some. This design made it possible to have a longer barrel with a shorter overall gun length by pulling rounds out to the back of the magazine and then pushing them into the barrel. Here are a few photos that represent this design which I obtained from the Bond Arms website at bondarms.com. I think it's a cool design and I wish I owned a Boberg pistol because it'll probably be worth something someday. When I searched the internet I didn't find any for sale. Anyway to continue my story I guess the Boberg would jam often because when it pulled around out of the back of the magazine, it would often pull so hard and fast that the shell would come straight away from the tip. Besides having the bullet and shell jamming the gun, you would also get gunpowder gunking up the pistol. So in the end, Bond Arms, which is known for producing quality firearms, bought the Boberg and made it better. When you shoot it, you still have to use specific ammo from a list of ammo producers but the list contains ammo from familiar and common manufacturers, so that really it shouldn't be a problem. Bond Arms does state on their website that you shouldn't buy the pistol if you won't commit to using the proper ammo. I personally would make sure I use the right ammo for everyday concealed carry and self-preservation, even though I've heard that many brands not on the list will still work. Here's the Bullpup 9 compared to my 380 pistol, a Taurus PT-738. It's just about the same length, if not a bit shorter, about one-third wider and a half an inch taller. So it should be very easy for concealed carry. Unfortunately, I won't get to shoot this little Bullpup since it's my friend's pistol and he's here to take it home right now. If I get the chance, I'll make another video of this little gun being fired. My guess is that it's a real firecracker, considering my 380 was a bit painful to shoot until I added the rubber grip. Have a great day, and remember to check out my videos and music videos on YouTube on the Psychoto channel.